this announcement that I'm sure will improve quality of care for all Manitobans, not only now but well into the future. The province has announced two new EMS stations for the Southern Health Region, but it's not the fix that some were looking for. These buildings are a part of Manitoba's commitment to building a stronger service that meets the needs of residents in those communities in the broad, broader Health Sante Sud region. Health Minister Audrey Gordon announcing new EMS stations in Portage La Prairie and Crystal City that aim to increase the ability for paramedics to respond to calls in the Southern Health region. Everyone deserves the right care in the right place at the right time, whether they live in a city, a town, or rural or remote. Emergency medical services ensure that help is always on the way. This brand new facility is now an operational base for paramedics to reach patients in the Portage La Prairie and surrounding areas using a globally recognized flexible deployment model. This move back to the city of Portage proper is uh, for us an extremely positive one. Also to be located next to our regional facility brings a number of efficiencies in terms of the ability to move patients back and forth, reduce some of the wasted or redundant time that paramedics spent on the road in between. What we continue to be really disturbed by is, is the complete lack of reference uh, to the actual staffing crisis that we're facing uh, among our paramedics in Manitoba at this point. Bob Moreau, is president of the Manitoba Association of Healthcare Professionals, says it's great to have modernized stations with new equipment, but says the province's lack of action on recruiting and retaining paramedics could render them useless. That's what continues to be lacking from every single one of these announcements from the province at this point, and it's, it's, it's continuing to just uh, absolutely demoralize uh, our paramedics. A lot of work to do, and we recognize that. We're working with our partners, Red River College, many different facilities to, to, to start um, paramedic programs and ensure that uh, we do active outreach to encourage individuals to join the profession. A December 2021 report from Shared Health shows the staffing crisis grew, leading to over 19,000 hours with ambulances out of service due to staffing shortages, an estimated 10% increase since the first report in October of last year. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.